In this lesson, we'll learn some of the basic tools in ArcView, including navigation. It's pretty simple to move around and zoom in and out in a map in ArcView. The navigation tools can be found in the standard toolbar. The first one is this zoom in button. It's a magnifying glass with a plus sign. So to use it, you need to click on it. And either you can then click on the map and it will zoom in a set amount, or you can draw a rectangle around the area you wish to zoom into. The zoom out button is right next to it. It's the magnifying glass with the minus sign. And you can do the same thing. You can simply click on the map to zoom out a little, or you can draw a rectangle, and that will determine how far it zooms out. Next to the magnifying glass zoom buttons are these black arrow buttons. And this is these are the fixed zoom in and the fixed zoom out buttons. With these buttons, all you have to do is click on one or the other, and you don't have to click on the map. It will automatically zoom in or out a set distance. To move around in the map, you use this hand button, which is called the pan tool. So simply click on it and click and drag the map around in the window. You can also use the bars at the side of your map viewing area to move the map around. It's really easy to accidentally zoom in too far or zoom out too far when you're, if your finger slips or something, so much so that it looks like there's nothing actually in your map. There's an easy way to fix this, and that's with the go back to the previous extent button. This is the blue arrow pointing to the left, and if you click this button, it will take your map back to the extent where you just were before you accidentally zoomed in too much. Or this globe button is the full extent tool, and if you click that, it will zoom to the extent that shows all of the data that you have in your map. Another way you can look closely at an area is with the magnifier tool. This can be found under Window in the menu bar, and then choose Magnifier from that menu. It will open up a window that you drag to different areas of the map by clicking and dragging on the title bar of that window. And as you do so, you can see it will magnify the portion of the map that it surrounds. You can change the amount of magnification from the drop-down menu, and you can change the size of the magnification box by holding your mouse at one of the corners of the boxes and clicking and dragging it to resize the window. Let's look at a couple of the other tools that are in the standard toolbar. You'll be using these quite a bit once you start working more with your maps. The Select Features tool is the arrow with the bright blue behind it. And if you hover your mouse over any of these buttons, a tip will appear describing what it does. If you click on this selection tool, you can click on any of the features in the map and it will select them. Now if I open the Attribute table, by right-clicking on a layer and selecting Open Attribute Table, it will also select this feature in the table, just like before when we selected the feature in the table, it's selected in the map. It works both ways. If you've selected a feature in the map and want to see it in your table, but there's a lot of records, to easily find it at the bottom where it says Show All or Selected, click Selected, and then it will only show the selected features. To deselect, you can click on any of the empty space in your map, or Go to the Selection menu and choose Clear Selected Features. The Identify tool is the eye with the blue circle around it, and this one's really important because this is an easy way of getting at the information that's in your map. So instead of having to open up the attribute table with all the records in it each time you want to find data, all you have to do is click on the Information or Identify button and then click on the features you want information about. In order to ensure that you only identify the feature you're interested in, it's easier to zoom in on it first, and then click on the feature. And in this case, if I click on Bar Harbor, it tells me the name of the town, what county it's in, and various other pieces of information about it. Finally, let's look at how to measure distances in ArcView. This is a pretty basic piece of information that people often want to determine from maps. There is a measure tool that looks like a little ruler with a question mark over it. 
on the right hand side of your standard toolbar. When you click on it, the measure window will open. To choose which units you want to measure in, you want to click on the little area to the right. And if you're measuring distance, you can see there's lots of options if you want feet, miles, meters, etc. So now if I want to measure the distance between these two schools that are showing on my map, I just click on one and then double click to end measuring. And it will show me the distance. If I'm measuring along roads, for instance, or something that has lots of segments and isn't just a straight line, I just single click along that road or along that distance until I get to the end. And notice that the measure window will show me both the total length of the distance plus the distance of each of the segments.